eat. Let's hope it worked. Yes. Uh, it. With can uh, you your newfound f- enthusiasm uh, about the winged animals, uh, are any of you guys have any sort of like formal experience like, or education about birds or a part of the, like, the Audubon Society or anything of that nature? Well, you, uh, the, you did some, the, the, our, our characters are, of course, based on, um, you know, real people. And, yeah, I don't think we're allowed to say that. What? For oh, legal, yeah, no. For legal reasons. Oh. No, but we did have, we had consultants uh, come by, uh, mm-hmm. real uh, bird experts, well, birding on experts. Uh, and we did a lot of... Loosely uh, based on a book. Yeah, yeah, we did a lot of uh, extensive research, meaning... Jack did, and then we asked him about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's very kind of you to say. I did some research. And my wife uh, loves birds and has, has a bird app. And um, uh, she, she knew, knew a lot about birds. And once uh, at uh, our apartment here, uh, a hawk sat on our uh, windowsill. And that's the extent of my uh, birding education. What kind of hawk? A red-tailed hawk. <laughs> I know you are challenging me. <laughs> <laughs> but those don't exist in New York, Steve. Yes, they do, because I have a photo <laughs> of one. But you can, read, uh, you can read about birding and do research about birding, but you can't really uh, decide you want to be a birder. You have to have the compulsion, the obsession with birds. I don't share that with, with, uh, with the uh, birding society at large, but uh, it was fun to hang out with some birders, some real birders, and, and watch them in action because uh, it's kind of remarkable. They'll, they'll be able to spot a bird from really far away. It's just a speck. And I'll say, that's the Mongolian goose fly. <laughs> By the way, you know who I, I heard was a birder uh, on the radio on NPR the other day? Jonathan Franzen, ah. who, who uh, after he wrote his last book, uh, the... What's it called? Freedom. Freedom. Uh, took a vacation and birded. Can you say birded? Birded. Mm-hmm. But anyway, that's uh, an he interesting bared. thing. You might want to write that Nabokov, down. Nabokov, I think, was a birder. Who was? Nabokov. Ah. Really? Yes. No, he was or a butterflies. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Close enough. Yeah. The winged wings. insects. Yeah. Yes. If, he, if he looked at a butterfly and said, what kind of bird is that, then he does not does not qualify as an expert. Yeah. Say, yeah. Well, everybody's sort of a birder in the sense of, you know, if you're walking through the park and, you know, you see a cardinal or something, you kind of I admire where the that. Pope is. Yeah. No. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we better take another question. <laughs> What'd you say? This is going to be all day. I know. <laughs> I'm just, just throwing up these softballs yeah. for Babe Ruth just to <laughs> smash over the right field fence. <laughs> so, so obviously a big draw off this movie is to see you three guys together. I was curious about the logistics of making a movie like this. Um, you guys have a bunch of scenes together, which are great. Do you guys spend a lot of time when each, each of you are doing your own thing? or is it kind of how Mainly, it? it's this. Is Jack on the set yet? I don't want to be there. Uh, Jack, <laughs> Jack isn't on the set. Is Owen there yet? I don't want to, I don't want to go. Would you tell me when Owen leaves his trailer? Because I'm not going to leave until Owen leaves his I trailer. I was the first one down here, by the way, waiting uh, for these guys to come <laughs> no, down. No, no, I was conference. waiting because they told me. I don't want to say Steve's it. Steve's very punctual. Uh, yeah. Okay. No, they yeah. told me not to come until I don't want to say. Yes. I don't want it to come yeah. to blows. Yeah. We better go to the next yeah. question. Yeah. Yeah. No, okay. uh, no, we did hang out on the set, I would say. Did we? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, not it was together. also nice back in base camp, kind of, because you'd hear, you know, you know, for lunch, you'd hear Steve maybe playing the banjo or, um, you know, Jack reading a comic or something. <laughs> <laughs> you could hear him read a comic. Because, you no, know, he, he has to speak the words. That cannot be what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I am a very vocal comic book reader. Yeah. 